यू आर लिसनिंग मनोपात्रा पॉडकास्ट स्टेट यून टू गेट लेटेस्ट लीगल अपडेट्स Greetings everyone Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 12th May 2023 starting with the Supreme Court The Supreme Court has observed that police officers who institute an FIR based on any complaint are duty bound to be vigilant before invoking any provision of a very stringent statute like SC ST Act which imposes serious penal consequences on the concerned accused The court while rejecting center's challenge of maintainability of Meghalaya's suit challenging provisions of Lotteries Regulation Act has held that state seeks to assert its right to do business in lotteries under Article 298B and its powers to do so is subject to parliamentary legislation. Chief Justice of India DY Chandrachud has launched e-filing 2.0 and e-seva kendra and facilitation center in the Supreme Court to help parties with e-filing process and stated that the same will be available to all lawyers 24/7 so that lawyers who do not have these facilities we will hand hold them i request all lawyers to use e-filing The Supreme Court has modified guidelines regulating the conferment of designation of senior advocates as laid down in Indira Jai Singh versus Supreme Court of India and stated that the process of senior designations should take place at least once a year. News highlights from the high courts. The Delhi High Court has directed collector of stamps to adjudicate payable stamp duty and communicate the same to respective parties within 30 days and stated that the present order shall be communicated to the chief secretary GNCTD for ensuring compliance and consider adding the same in Delhi Act 2011. The Kerala High Court while considering death sentence references observed that there will be serious issues and delay if study process is commenced only after conviction is affirmed at appellate stage and held that high court can order mitigation investigation at appellate stage even before conviction. The Punjab and Haryana High Court while directing the union government to ensure that boundary dispute between Haryana and Uttar Pradesh is settled urgently has stated that the office of PHC GDC Survey of India Chandigarh shall ensure detailed site plan is prepared in respect of survey and boundary pillars. The Himachal Pradesh High Court has held that merely because revenue records show secured properties as agricultural land it is not sufficient to attract section 31 sub clause 1 of surface as property in question ought to have to be actually used as agricultural land at the time when security interest was created This concludes the news for today thank you so much